Hi, hope you are doing well. Today we will discuss about take until operator from RxJS. So let's start the video. Hi everyone, this is Subrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristics. So on this channel, you will get to know about the programming languages, the framework and all about the algorithm. So please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon if you haven't yet. The take until operator it behaves same like the take operator from RxJS. So if you don't know about take operator, I have a video. That's the previous video. I will link in the card. You can watch that one. Here, the take until operator behaves same as take operator with a condition like take until I am giving you something. And that condition is itself an observable. So we're going to see what that is and how you're going to use in your project. So first we'll discuss a simple one, then I will go and explain you which scenario you can use to make it pretty efficient. Okay, so let's start. So first, as usual, I will go with the operator of one to seven. So I will pipe this one with our take until operator. Okay, so take until and here you can see we're saying a notifier which is an observable. So what it will do when the observable you are giving as a until condition till that it will accept from the observable if it not complete. If it get a observable emitted observable a response from the observable then it will complete the whole observable here itself. So like in the take if you remember in the take we are saying take only two values from this observable. So in this case, what we'll say, take as much as value you want, obviously, if the observable is giving till the given observable haven't been emitted. For here, I'll just create a subject. It will be a new subject. And we'll pass this subject here. So what we're saying here is run the observable means uh, get the data from the observable till the subject is emitting the value. That's the basic concept of uh, the take until operator. So we'll just go ahead and see that one. So we'll just subscribe and console.log. But here I have done one mistake that is I have used off and this will work synchronously. So instead of off, what I will do, I'll just do this like interval of thousand. So uh, on every second, it will going to emit one value and that we are pi piping with our take until. So instead of one, two, three, four, five, it will going to emit one, two, three, four in every every second. I think start from zero. So now if we'll save and go to the browser. So here, if you'll see, we are emitting every second one value means start from zero and it will continue till we emit a subject here. So I have taken a set timeout and after five seconds, I'm emitting the value. So now we'll go to our browser and if I'll just refresh, so you'll see till the fifth value will get the value and on the fifth will emit one value. I think we have emitted on the fifth second. So zero to four. So once it's got emitted. So now the observable is completed. So for that. So what we're doing here is we are doing the same. I just added a three parameter data error and complete. So here we'll see that when we are emitting any any observable means emitting next from our subject, then our observable will be completed. Okay, so I'll just go here and save. So here you can see, we'll get zero, one, two, three, and up to four, it will be done. This observable is completed with the use of the subject and the take until operator. So this is what the basic concept of what a take until operator is. Now we'll see where you can use it pretty efficiently. One of the scenario which I liked a lot of take until operator is suppose you have subscribed to an observable and on destroy of your component, it should be destroyed. It means unsubscribed or suppose the, if the browser is open for a very long amount of time, then also it should be destroyed or it should be unsubscribed from the subscription. Think like the scenario is we have the same interval, interval observable and instead of calling the sub.next after five seconds, you can call the sub.next on the destroy of your component. 
so you can implement on destroy and just use ng on destroy and call this one so what we'll do we'll just use this subject outside here okay and now we'll just use this dot subject we can emit now our data from our on destroy so this dot subject dot next and one more thing is after you emit next from your on from your ng on de destroy you need to close means unsubscribe to the subject as well okay so you just unsubscribe to the subject here the subject dot unsubscribe now the subject will also be destroyed from your particular component okay so now if i just save i don't think we can see this one okay so if you are going to a particular uh, router then i guess we can and to resolve that issue i have created uh, a component called test component and i have added our uh, normal path to our grandparent and the path to our test means if you go to the test it, 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 it will go to the test component and inside grandparent we have parent and inside parent we have child so on load of uh, the grandparent eventually the child will going to load and this will will going to see all these things and whenever we'll press means click on the button it will going to navigate to our test component that means our child component will be destroyed and we can see the result here so i will save and i will just go to the browser and now you can see we are getting our logs i'll just take it a little up so we're getting our logs and just click an eye on whenever i will click on the test it will navigate to test at the time you will see we have printed done that means our this observable is completed by the help of take until and ng on destroy so this is one way you, you can use and obviously there are other ways which you can use to complete your subscribed observable on the destroy of your page but th this is also one way you can use it so on every component you can have a subject and that you can also you are unsubscribing the subject as well here so that's it for today guys today we saw what is our take until operator and how you can use them for no notifying our observable that take the values until we are giving a another observable and to unsubscribe or complete the all the other observable by using a single subject and we can call that on the destroy of that particular component and that will going to save us lots of memory leak so please hit the like button if you like the video and please do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will be notified on the future videos and please give some valuable comment in the comment section below those are pretty helpful and please share this video among your friends family colleague let them know how to use the take until operator and how to unsubscribe or destroy means complete your observable all the observable by using a single subject and please watch this video if you want to know more about programming and web development we will going to meet in the next video till that stay happy bye bye